this is uh, where I talk uh, to uh, the personal state <laughs> of myself at the moment. And I want to conclude uh, Newsnight this evening with a quote from the good book. The Bible in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, which says, There's a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. Tonight, after 14 amazing years at the Royal Media Services, my time here has come to an end. None of this would have been possible without the Lord God Almighty who has guided me every step of the way from 2009 when I began this journey here until today. Those were his final words at Citizen TV. The sign-off. Waihiga Mawara has been a journalist for about 14 years, but his accomplishments dwarf even those of some of the veteran journalists. To begin with, he did not have any formal media training when he joined Citizen TV, but he grabbed every opportunity that came by with both hands. He was quick to learn and hungry to make a difference. The young lad who used to host Zinduka in 2009 is now a multiple award-winning journalist and family man. As much as he is hardworking, his career has also been shaped by the fact that he is not one to be found in controversies. He may not have become a lawyer as per the wishes of his parents, but his work enables him to be an advocate for the society by highlighting social ills such as doping and corruption. Join me as we dive deeper into the life and career of this renowned journalist. But if you're a fan of celebrity culture and want to know what really goes on behind the glitz and glamour, then subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Don't miss out on the exclusive content and insights that Behind Celebrity's Life has to offer, Waihiga Mawara Biography. The news anchor was born on the 6th of June, 1984, in Kenya. He lived with his parents and two siblings in Donholm before they moved to Westlands. Waihiga Mawara, father and mother, are staunch Christians who instilled strong morals in their children. Both his parents are lawyers, and they wanted their children to follow in their footsteps but they had their ideas. Waihiga Mwara education background. It can be traced back to the Rusinga schools in Lavington. Afterwards, he pursued a computer science degree and graduated from the Africa Nazarene University, but was not keen on a career in IT. Career. After obtaining his IT degree, Waihiga got an internship at an NGO, but knew from the beginning it is not what he wanted to do. He was employed at a bank as a teller and did not find it interesting as well. At the same time, he used to be an MC at church events. His pastor used to tell him that his talent was in the media, but he did not take him seriously. When he was 25 years old, he quit his job as a bank teller. Waihiga Mwara parents could not understand why. Fortunately, he had met a veteran journalist by the name Effi Hunja, who worshipped in the same church and guided him on how to make it in the media. He was lucky to land a role in Citizen TV in 2009 as the host of Zinduka a youth entrepreneurship show that was airing at the time. One year later, he became part of the Power Breakfast team as a sports commentator. Even though he had no formal training in journalism, in 2013, he had been promoted to a primetime sports anchor on Citizen Weekend. In 2015, he was behind a damning documentary, Poisoned Spikes, detailing issues of doping in Kenya. The documentary elicited debate and caught the attention of the World Anti-Doping Agency. In 2016, he traveled to Brazil and covered the Rio Games. He produced a report on the mistreatment of Kenyan athletes by officials and the misuse of public funds by state officials. This saw him interrogated by the DCI on his findings and later testified before a commission formed by the sports ministry. In the 2017 general elections in Kenya, he joined politics and current affairs desk as one of the hosts of Citizen Extra. He was a co-host of Friday Night, which is a weekly news bulletin. In 2018, Waihiga was named the host of Daybreak, a brand new morning show on Citizen TV where he regularly interviewed leaders and opinion shapers on the big stories of the day. In 2020, he was promoted to special projects editor and oversaw several exposés. In December 2021, he was promoted to be the managing editor until he left the station on May 2, 2023 to the BBC. Dating life. From the moment Waihiga saw Joyce Omondi, he knew that he wanted her as his wife. The first time he saw her was on the Rauka show, and from that point, he was on a mission to win her heart. 
The last did not accept his advances initially, but he was determined. After she had turned him down, he did the unthinkable thing to invite her and her entire production crew to his birthday party, but she did not attend. A desperate Waihiga then turned to social media where he publicly declared that Joyce is his celebrity crush, and this time she responded by inviting him to her birthday. Marriage On the 18th of December, 2015, Waihiga was the happiest man as he finally wedded the love of his life. Waihiga Mwara wedding was a star-studded event that took place in Saula Lodge, Naivasha. Joyce is an award-winning gospel singer and development specialist. The couple is regularly invited to schools and churches to share their story and Christian faith. Those eager to see Waihiga Mwara child are not lucky because the couple is in no hurry, awards and nominations. The media personality has gained recognition on numerous occasions for his good work. The highlight of his career was the 2018 BBC World Kamla Dumour Award that enabled him to be trained at the BBC's headquarters. Some of Waihiga Mwara awards and nominations include Annual Journalism Excellence Awards, AGEA, nominated three times, CNN Multi-Choice Africa Award 2012, Winner Mo Amin Award, Inaugural, BBC World News Kamla Dumour Award 2018, Waihiga Mwara Salary and Net Worth. One can only imagine that Waihiga was earning so little when he joined Citizen TV, but with his accomplishments, he ought to be among the top earners by now. His salary is not in the public spotlight, but things such as Waihiga Mwara car are the indicators of wealth. The passion and dedication of Waihiga Mwara have seen him rise from nowhere to be one of the best. That has been all for today. Make sure you hit that subscription button and the notification bell down below so that you don't miss on any new video I post. Also, let me know in the comments section your reaction and the celeb you would like to hear about in the next video.